Hey Pen Pinchers, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Penny Pincher Shalomi, and today I'm coming to you with a Pottery Barn inspired tablescape. So if you want to see where I got all my items and how I put everything together, you know exactly what to do, guys. Just keep on watching. Okay guys, so for this Pottery Barn inspired tablescape, here are some of the items that I will be using um, that I picked up to help me put this look together. So first I have these uh, napkins and these napkins I picked up, they, you would have seen them in my Ross haul. I might add the black to some of them, like double up with this um, real pretty cream one that I have here. Both of these were featured in my Ross haul a uh, couple months ago then i'm going to be using this set of placemats there's six placemats here and i also picked this up at ross for 12.99 then for my centerpiece i'm going to be using this cute little piece that i picked up from home goods i think it was 14.99 now it's not exactly like the pottery barn one but remember that this is and inspiration right the the tablescape in the pottery barn picture is my inspiration so i am also going to use these beautiful napkin holders i have had these since last summer i picked them up at hobby lobby can't remember how much i paid for them and then i am going to be using these plates and these i also picked up at uh, ross for 99 cents the uh, salad plate as well as the dinner plate 99 cents each at ross and um i know the color is a little bit off but hey once i put everything together you won't even notice that and then i went to home goods and got this um beautiful green set i have the soup bowl the salad plate and then i have the dinner plate um this the salad plate oh, it's a little blurry 5.99 so this was a little bit more costly as you can see the dinner plates these were also 5.99 and then the bowl the bowl was 4.99 so what i did initially was i picked these up from ross not from ross i picked these up from home goods and I picked up the same set in this color. And then I went to Ross afterwards and saw these. I was like, oh no ma'am, these are definitely going back. I'll keep the greens, but this color, I can make it do what it do without having to spend all that coin. So again, make sure that you are finding savings wherever you can. You can create a beautiful tablescape or whatever you're doing with, you know, very cost effectively. And then I'm gonna use my um, wine glasses. I've had these for a while as well. So just wanted to show you some of the items that I picked up for this um, tablescape, this Pottery Barn inspired tablescape. So now let's get into it. All right, this is what I have down so far. I have put the placemats down. I've also put the centerpiece in the middle of the table. For some reason to me, it was getting lost because as you can see the table, the glass is black. So I went ahead and added these two candle holders that I've had for a while with the little gold accent on here. I've had these for maybe a year and a half, going on two years. So I just kind of placed it in the curve off the the base piece and yeah i'm going to add some things to it and guys as you know me already i went ahead and added two chargers to the ends of the table and these i picked up from hobby lobby i love them because instead of like the the gold knobs or the little gold balls on the end these are actually black and i love it so I'm just going to use two because like I said, it's Pottery Barn and I'm not trying to make it too over the top, but you know, I'm gonna add a little something, something to mine. So this is what I have so far and we are going to start adding and layering the table now. Okay guys, so I have added the plates and it's coming along nicely. 
real simple and elegant and I'm gonna build on it of course haven't added the candles yet but this is what it looks like so far with the plates added now I'm going to do the um, the napkins and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my napkins so I'm gonna double them and I will use the black ones for the outer part for these plates and then switch it around for the green ones so let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Here we go guys, I have added my napkins and napkin rings and it's starting to come together really beautifully. So I'm not gonna stop and show you every single thing that I add. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to add like the, um, the flatware, the candles, the glasses, finish it up and I'll come back and show you what the final product looks like. Okay, Penny Pincher, my Pottery Barn Inspired Tablescape is ready and I'm going to take you in and show you how everything came together. Okay guys, so here is the end setting. As I was taking you along, I showed you that I use the charger with the little black um, accents on it. I used my napkins with my B napkin ring. And one of the things that I did guys, I went in with black flatware. I had added the gold ones to it. I have this exact set in gold and just didn't like the way it looked. It's like the gold was kind of overtaking the table and I wanted it to be a little bit more quiet. I believe that the gold napkin rings and the little gold accent here in the candle stand is doing enough. Like I said, this is Pottery Barn and they're usually just elegant and a lot of their items are just beautiful and muted. And so, of course, I'm gonna add a little bit of meat to it, but didn't wanna add too much. So this is what this part of the table looks like. And I have this on both ends. And as we move around the table, this is just um, the other four settings. They are identical. And what I did was I switched up, as I said before, the napkins to kind of give a little bit more um, depth to these plates without just being, you know, cream on cream or off-white on off-white. I wanted to add a little bit more depth to that. So I use the exact same um, flatware for the other four settings as well. And I went in with the same goblets or the same wine glasses for the entire table. For the centerpiece, I had explained to you before that when I put the um, the original piece in, it looked like it was missing something. And the one from the Pottery Barn picture, it has a lot of these like little hurricane. And I've seen those in the store before, that exact piece with the different um, hurricane uh, shades attached to the unit. And I've never purchased it until I saw this Pottery Barn picture, I'm like, oh my goodness, like I couldn't find it anywhere. But I picked this one up and I was able to improvise. And those are just some of the little things, guys. When you do your setting, whether it's for your table or you're remaking, remodeling, refreshing a space, if you have an inspiration picture, it does not have to be exact. If you can get all of the items exactly as the picture then more power to you go ahead and do that but you can add your own little items to create the same effect um, for a beautiful beautiful table setting tablescape um, whatever it is that you're doing so that inspiration picture goes a long way uh, but if you don't have all the items that you need don't sweat it 
Just look at the picture, see what you can find, see what you already have at home, shop your home, and then pick up other inexpensive items. This table is super inexpensive in comparison to the Pottery Barn uh, tablescape. All right, but this is it. This is a spring pick-me-up. You know, I'm always gonna have some kind of black in there somewhere, honey, because black makes everything better, as you already know. So leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this Pottery Barn inspired tablescape. Super gorge, really simple. Um, very elegant, not a lot of layering. And you know that I'm a layer girl, but there's not a lot of layering here because I wanted to, um, you know, stay as true as possible to the Pottery Barn picture. So I only have a lot of layering on the ends, as you can see, with the, um, the three pieces. And then I went in with the charger and the placemat. For the other areas, I just have it pretty much the way Pottery Barn has it with just the placemat, um, the dinner plate, the salad plate. They have their um, napkins off to the side, but you know, in the picture, the green napkins with the napkin ring, they have theirs off to the side, but I just wanted to give mine a little bit more oomph. So I have placed mine at like the corner of the plates. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is all I have for you today. And if this is your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. I truly do appreciate you clicking on this video. And I would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family. It is real simple, guys. All you have to do is to hit that subscribe button below and make sure you hit that notification bell also. That way you never miss an upload. And to all my lovely Penny Pinchers, you know exactly how I feel, guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Until the next video, this is your glamorous penny pincher Shalomi saying bye-bye.